We're going to begin in California. The story out there is weather. Several events were canceled. Art Ekman will tell us about a big one that was not. Southern California downpours washed out the CMC and GFI motocross races. But up north, near Kalinga, the hardy members of the enduro riding fraternity rode the national season's opener. Rider computers were pre-programmed as weather force shortening of the course. No matter to the man with the championship image, Southern Ohio's Jeff Russell felt right at home in this terrain as he prepared to defend that number one plate on his KTM. And if it seemed to poor Jeff that Suzuki had deployed an army of motorcycles to try and stop him, that's because they had. As it turned out, the battle for the overall win would pit the reigning champion Russell against the Suzuki rider who followed close behind him at the start. That's the two-time national champion Randy Hawkins. We've all heard about those California rains, but you need to know that in the higher elevations around Kalinga, the rain had turned to snow. Enduro was the appropriate description for this event. And pity the poor rider who got roasted early, covering his goggles with mud and leaving him to tough it out with no eye protection. Salinas Rambler's motorcycle club members deserve a double A for enduring all the difficulties created by the weather and putting on a first-class event. There was a problem with one checkpoint, probably the result of the 11th hour decision to shorten the course. That had Hawkins concerned for a while, but once that check was thrown out, he was in control of the event. Russell launched his championship defense with a second place finish. The lunch break gave us a chance to see what enduro riders eat, bananas and bagels for Team Suzuki, and an opportunity for maintenance if the mud had taken a toll on your bike. Past national champ Kevin Hines, doubling as a mechanic and PR man, wants to be sure you know he's Husqvarna mounted for 1992. With the last gulp of Gatorade, it's back to the wars for Hawkins. But the Kawasaki team was literally up the creek. Through an apparent miscalculation, they ran out of gas and houred out. The first event of the season just half over, but the green team was washed up. Now watch young Steve Hatch hustle through the woods with his factory teammate Hawkins breathing right down his neck. While at the other end of the spectrum, this unfortunate privateer had to decide whether to try and get this thing home or maybe just give it a decent burial right here along the trail. For Hawkins, this was fun. The club here, these guys did a great job. I mean, you know, with the conditions of snow on top of the mountains and the rain, they had an excellent race today. It was a lot of fun. It was a tough race. And uh, like I said, we had a lot of fun. And I uh, uh, hope to see how, how the results come out later on today. Those results showed Hatch on the left finishing fourth while Hawkins wins the season opener. Where do you suppose these two found a shower out there in the middle of nowhere? Reporting for Moto World, I'm Art Ekman. All right, thanks, Art. Congratulations, Randy. We'll take a look at the results of the National Enduro season opener on this edition of the Honda Scoreboard. That's a good start for Hawkins, who broke his thumb early in 91, was unsuccessful in defending his championship. Hines behind Russell makes it three different brands in the top three spots. Elsewhere, Scott Summers won the Mid-South Hair Scrambles up in Tennessee, defeating the KTM of Johnny Robbins and the Husky of Jimmy Erickson. And speaking of Jimmy's, Jimmy Gaddis cleaned up the AMA Arena Cross in Denver. He won three of the four pro main events over two nights of racing last weekend, though Cliff Palmer still has the big point lead in both classes. 